First please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. A squirrel is small rodent with a full and bushy tail, and they are found all over the world. There are more than 200 species of squirrels all over the world. They are mostly categorized into three different types, ground squirrels, tree squirrels, and flying squirrels. The various types are differentiated by their size and where they live. According to reports, squirrels are found on every continent except Antarctica and Australia. They are also known for going into hibernation for long periods of time, and they go by the scientific name Sayuridae. Some of the common types of squirrels include the Indian giant squirrel, the western gray squirrel, and the American red squirrel. With the right habitat and care, you can also keep a squirrel as a pet. 6 Incredible Squirrel Facts Here are some of the interesting facts about squirrels. There are over 200 species, and they can be found almost anywhere. A squirrel is a rodent, and they have a surprisingly trusting personality. Squirrels are planners. When the winter season nears, they gather and store food in different locations as a survival tactic. A squirrel is a very intelligent animal and rodent, using different sounds to communicate with other squirrels. Along with these vocalizations, these animals will signal each other with their tails. Squirrels do not like some smells and are repellent towards them, like white pepper, garlic, and black pepper. Squirrel Scientific Name Squirrels go by the scientific name Sayuridae and belong to the kingdom Animalia and Phylum Chordata. Their class is called Mammalia and the order is called Rodentia. The suborder is called Sayuromorpha and the family is called Sayuridae too, just like the scientific name. The word Sayuridae is from the Latin word Sayuris, which means squirrel. The Latin root comes from a combination of two Greek words, skia, shade, and ara, tail. Squirrel Appearance These animals are small-sized, nimble rodents. Their bodies are slender, and they have large eyes and bushy tails. Their fur is short and silky and is very soft too. However, the thickness of the fur depends as well as varies from species to species. The fur comes in a variety of colors including gray, brown, yellow, red, black, and white. The color of the squirrels also depends on the type of squirrel. Most species have small yet pointed ears with tiny, sharp claws, giving them the leverage that they need to climb trees quickly and with ease. The smallest squirrel is only 10 centimeters long while some of the largest squirrels in the world can have bodies of 30 to 50 centimeters in size. Their tails are even bigger, reaching a length of up to 60 centimeters in some species. These animals can weigh about 1.5 kilograms. The Indian giant squirrel is about 1.1 kilograms, featuring beautiful rust and black fur coat. Interestingly, a solid black coat is considered very rare in squirrels. Squirrel Behavior These rodents are warm and fuzzy animals, easily giving over their trust to humans. They can also be kept as a pet. They can come to eat from your hand if they trust you enough. They are also very intelligent, and their brain is known to be dedicated to visual functions. As trusting as they may be, they might stare at a person to judge if the person is safe or unsafe for them. They will quickly climb up a tree in case they sense any danger at all. They are also known to be noisy animals and vocalize their thoughts by chattering, barking, purring, and screaming, especially during mating season. To warn others of impending danger or potential suspicion, these rodents will wag their tails. They also prepare well for the winter when food may not be as plentiful. They prefer to store nuts, seeds, and other food items, but they won't store everything in the same place. Instead, they choose different spots so that they can go back to them when the weather conditions turn harsh. They also hibernate during the winter season and usually dig burrows and rest in them to protect themselves from the cold as well as harsh conditions. These animals are most active during the day and during the dawn and at dusk. Flying squirrels, on the other hand, are known to be usually active during the night. They do not like the smell of white pepper, black pepper, and garlic 
giving you an easy and non-toxic repellent to keep these critters away. Squirrel Habitat Reports suggest that these animals can be found on every continent except Australia and Antarctica. Different species can be found in different areas of the world. However, these animals can be found mostly in mature or nearly mature forests, especially in woodland areas, including the Indian giant squirrel. They usually nest on walnut, oak, pecan, hickory, maple, elm, and mulberry trees, giving them plenty of places to rest. Tree squirrels especially live in wooded areas and, as their name suggests, prefer living in the trees. Meanwhile, ground squirrels live on the ground, digging tunnels and burrows to travel underground. These burrows are also used to hibernate and nest during the winter season. These animals create their nests themselves with the help of twigs and leaves that they go around collecting. The inside lining of their nests is grass and leaves. Their nests are called drays and they usually place them along branches or on buildings. Some species might not end up making their own nests and could temporarily take shelter in holes and stumps. There are usually two types of nests that the animals make. They either make open nests that are used for sleeping or covered ones that are used for birthing as, as well as raising the babies. Squirrel Diet Squirrels primarily eat seeds, nuts, fungi, and fruit. Apart from that they also feed on other plant matter. Some species are also omnivorous in times when food is not plentiful. However, they don't feed on other mammals and are not so predatory. Instead, these animals take to feeding on eggs, insects, and some small invertebrates. Squirrel Predators and Threats These rodents face threats from human activities like industrialization and deforestation which ultimately leads to their habitat loss and eradicates their population slowly. Habitat loss is also facilitated by urbanization as well as wildfires. There are also certain plants that threaten the natural habitat of the animal. The western gray squirrel was earlier considered a threatened species due to a disease that took much of its population. It also was put at risk for the many road accidents that killed these animals. The population has since recovered. What do squirrels eat? These animals are primarily herbivorous, consuming seeds, nuts, fruit, and fungi. When they need to round out their diet, they'll seek out the eggs of other animals for an omnivorous diet. They aren't avid predators, but they also will seek out insects and other invertebrates that will give the protein that they need. What eats squirrels? Some of the common predators of these animals include red foxes, domestic cats, wild cats, dogs, badgers, polecats, and weasels. Large carnivorous birds like eagles also prey on squirrels. Squirrel Reproduction, Babies, and Lifespan These animals breed once or twice every year. They have a gestation period of three to six weeks, but it depends on the particular species. This rodent can mate as early as one year old, eventually having two litters of young. One of the litters is typically born at the end of spring, while the other is born at the end of summertime. The babies open their eyes at four weeks of age age. When they are six weeks old, they usually start venturing out of their nests. The babies are born blind and hairless, not weaning from their mother until they are about six to ten weeks old. A baby is known to thrive most easily when they have the care of their mothers, giving them the best chance of survival. The lifespan of the animal varies from species to species. In the wild, the lifespan can range from five to ten years. Squirrel Population While the exact population of these animals that exist around the world is unknown, there are more than 200 species of squirrels. Most of them can be divided up by their method of travel, including ground squirrels, tree squirrels, and flying squirrels. However, the latter actually glides through the air, rather than flying. Though the western gray squirrel was considered a threatened species at one time, the population has recovered. Squirrels in the zoo Squirrels can be kept in zoos, though an experienced owner can also keep them as a pet. Zoos in nearly every state have exhibits with squirrels, making them easy to find. 
However, if you don't want to go to the zoo, you might just need to venture to a local forest to find them. Squirrel frequently asked questions. Are squirrels herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores? While the usual diet of a squirrel is made up of nuts, seeds, and fruits, some of them are also omnivorous and can eat eggs, insects, and other small vertebrates when the food is scarce. What kingdom do squirrels belong to? Squirrels belong to the kingdom Animalia. What phylum do squirrels belong to? Squirrels belong to the phylum Chordata. What class do squirrels belong to? Squirrels belong to the class Mammalia. What family do squirrels belong to? Squirrels belong to the family Sciuridae. What order do squirrels belong to? Squirrels belong to the order Rodentia. What type of covering do squirrels have? Squirrels are covered in fur. In what type of habitat do squirrels live? Squirrels live in woodlands and dense forests. Forests. What is the main prey for squirrels? Squirrels eat fruit, seeds, and insects. What are some predators of squirrels? Predators of squirrels include snakes, coyotes, and weasels. How many babies do squirrels have? The average number of babies a squirrel has is three. What is an interesting fact about squirrels? Squirrels are small rodents found in woodlands worldwide. What is the scientific name for the squirrel? The scientific name for the squirrel is Sciuridae. What is the lifespan of a squirrel? Squirrels can live for two to eight years. How fast is a squirrel? A squirrel can travel at speeds of up to 16 miles per hour. What do you feed a baby squirrel? You can feed the squirrel baby diluted milk, a few drops of curd, and glucose. What does squirrel poop look like? Squirrel poop largely resembles rat poop. However, they are larger, barrel-shaped pellets and are dark brown in color. What do squirrels hate the most? Squirrels are repellent towards smells of white pepper, black pepper, and garlic, they find them very unpleasant. What does it mean when a squirrel stare at you? If a squirrel is staring at you, it is highly possible that it is judging if you are safe or unsafe. If it finds anything suspicious, the squirrel can quickly climb you the tree to protect itself. Is a squirrel dangerous? Squirrels are affectionate and are very trusting. If they trust you, they can come to eat from your hand as well. However, whether or not they are dangerous is unclear. Some say that they do carry diseases that they can pass to humans. Therefore, it is always better to stay protected and take precautions while coming in contact with squirrels. What is the difference between a squirrel poop and a rat poop? The major differences between squirrel poop versus rat poop include size, shape, and color. Rat poop is both longer and thicker than squirrel poop. However, the two are relatively close in size, so it may seem similar to the untrained eye. What is the difference between a bay rat and a baby squirrel? The greatest differences between a newborn squirrel versus rat are their size, head shape, and toenail color. A newborn squirrel is likely to be larger than a rat, and it will initially weigh more than a rat. What is the difference between a ground squirrel and a tree squirrel? The greatest differences between a ground squirrel versus tree squirrel are their size, color, and habitat. Ground squirrels are larger than tree squirrels on the whole. Ground squirrels can reach weights of 18 pounds in lengths of nearly 3 feet on average, but tree squirrels only tip the scales at a quarter of that weight. What is the difference between a gopher and a squirrel? The main differences between a gopher and a squirrel include their appearance, diet, habitat, behavior.